Someone asked me today, if you had one wish, what would it be? Being my normal strange self, I told them that I would wish for my younger sister to be stuck on a deserted island with my mom. It would be torture for the both of them. Oh, can't you feel the love in my family? Anyway, I hope that you know that I really wouldn't waste my one wish on something like that, even though it may be very entertaining to watch. But as the day went on, I began to think more about the question, and I realized that how anyone would answer this question honestly would tell a lot about who they are as a person. A person's answer could unveil their morals, values, beliefs, and even their deepest hopes and secrets. The problem is, who would actually think about the question before answering it? People's lives these days are so focused on strict times from busy schedules that many people wouldn't be able to think of an honest answer to even this simple question. So if you're watching this video right now, I want you to do me a favor. I'm going to ask you this question, and I want you to think of how you would answer it. Ready? Okay. If you had one wish, what would it be? Did you come up with anything? I know I did. I know what I would wish for. Do you want to hear it? That sucks if you don't, because I'm going to tell you anyway. If I had one wish, I would wish for social oppression, prejudice, and hate to end. I know that my answer seems very unrealistic and unmanageable to you all, but that leads me to another question. Why? By that I mean, why is the thought of ending oppression, prejudice, and hate so far-fetched? I mean, think about it. What would the world be like today if those things just didn't happen anymore? It would be a nice place where no one would be afraid to show others who they really are, where no one would be afraid to speak up for the things that they believe in, where people wouldn't hurt others because of their race, religion, sexual orientation, gender, beliefs, or anything like that. So to put my wish in other words, I wish for people to have no reason to fear being themselves and having other people see. So do you see why I would wish for this? If not, that tells me a lot about who you are as a person. But do you think that this is possible? Do you think that these things could change and that oppression, prejudice, and hate could be put to an end? Many people say no, and even though I hate to admit it, for the most part, I have to agree with them. I have seen, in the short time that I have lived in this world so far, too much ignorance, apathy, and judgment in this world to even see how change may be possible. I've been the victim of hate, prejudice, and social oppression all my life, so like many of you, I know how it feels, and I know that it needs to change. But again, I have another question. How? How could we make a difference? How could we be the change we wish to see in this world? An interesting question, isn't it? But seriously, do you have an answer? Want me to give you a second to think about it? Okay, here. Do you got anything? <clears throat> I think I might. But in order to hear it, you have to promise me something. I need you to promise me that after I tell you, that you will take it to heart, think about it, and give it your best effort. Okay, so just turn this video off now if you can't promise me that. If you can't promise me that, that also tells me a lot about who you are as a person. Anyway, I think I have an answer to the question and a solution to this problem. And that is... Stand up and show that no one is ever really alone. Speak up and show that people are there to give support and advice. And take action to show that these situations should never happen to anyone again. When you encounter a situation where social impression, oppression, prejudice, and hate <clears throat> have made anyone feel like less than they should, these three things can make the biggest difference. So please do your hardest to keep the promise that you have just made to me. Don't be an oppressor, hater, or judge. And stand up for who for those stand up to those who unjustly are. Unfortunately, I must say that change in this world might be out of my reach, just standing here alone. But with your help, support, and action, I believe that we can make this world a better place. Thank you very much.